beauty freaks welcome back to my channel if you're back again or if you this is your first time welcome to you as well so this is the look we're doing today it is a fun bronzy glowing summer look so you're going to start off with a foundation i'm using matte steel fit cleared spf 15 in mt20 i said if you want i was way darker than this back in high school but i'm not so I'm going to bust that in using my Pink Beauty Blender today. It is damp. There is a purpose to that. Um, it is so that you save most of your product and it doesn't just get absorbed into your Beauty Blender. If you hear me sound really funny while I'm talking, I had a Red Bull. <laughs> and the carbonation makes me kind of want to burp. So I'm trying not to. And do this. And whatever. That's not healthy, there you go. So then we are going to go and take the Maybelline Age Rewind Color Concealer, blah, blah, blah. Um, dark circle concealer. And, sorry about that. Um, we're going to put that under our eyes, around the crease of our nose, down the bridge of our nose, um, in between our eyebrows. <laughs> And on our cupid's bow, chin, and side of our jaw. And then we are going to go and blend that in with the beauty blender. Melt that right into the skin. Ta da! It's all blended. <laughs> then we're going to contour the side of our face. I don't know what happened to the footage there, but there was a little bit more than that. But then you're going to blend that out a little bit more with the Real Technique Face Brush. Some bronze. Because this is a summer look, we are going to bronze. But I'm going to blend that out a little bit more. And then go in with this bronzer to cap off the extra. And all of a sudden, there's this wonderful glowy bronze look going on here. And you just blend until you feel satisfied. The good thing about this bronzer is it's not super patchy. You can use the one from Benefit. Not Benefit. <laughs> you can use the one from Benefit. Or the one from Bare Essentials and Warm. And um, I feel like it has the same tone and color. So after I blend that all a little bit more, I'm going to bronze the temples of my face and a little bit on my forehead. I don't do this very often because I have a very short forehead. And if you do that and contour your forehead while you have a small one like I do, you tend to look like a Neanderthal. So please refrain from doing that. Just contour all the parts, the rest of your face. So now I'm going to use a fluffy cheek brush and blend that out a little bit more. And then we are going to bake our face using a light colored powder. You can use a powder from Walmart. Anything that's translucent. Mine's in light because it has a slight pinky tone to it. Well, pinky peach color anyway. And I am going to bake everywhere where I put the concealer because those tend to be my oiliest, oil, oiliest places on my face. Don't want to be looking like an oil like a ball in the summertime. And then we're going to blush our face. Now, um, this blush doesn't have, it's very generic. I got it from a kit in cosmetology school when I was in cosmetology school. And here in a second, you're going to see that I put on way too much blush. And the way that you tone that down is by taking a powder in the same color as you, and I will stipple that on right now and all of a sudden it will look way better and not as pigmented and so you don't look like somebody just slapped you in the face we are going to be using the nars highlighter and albatross i have had this highlighter for probably a good year a few years um i haven't really used it much because i was super afraid of looking overdone but you know what when you're doing makeup who gives a crap right so do what you want to do, and that's the fun part. So, this highlighter, 
is so much fun. It's um, a nice white gold looking highlighter. It's very yellowy, so if you are an olive toned child, please refrain from using this because it will make you look way sick. Um, I am not a yellow toned, I am a pink toned, but I do use a yellow toned foundation because I don't like nasty pink face. So we're gonna put that on our cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow, forehead, chin, and blend that in. Now we're gonna get real serious for a second here. And then we are gonna put on my favorite mascara, which is the Benefit mascara in their real. I just stabbed myself in the eye. Save that, right? Because whenever you do that, you normally blink really hard. Let me just get back up. So I'm leading, leading, <laughs> lathering. No, that's wrong too. Layering the mascara on. I love this mascara because it makes your lashes look full and long and it curls them as well so they look fabulous. And as my friend Tiffany says, lash game on fleek. I hate that shit, but um, I hate the word fleek. It's not my thing. <laughs> but it's definitely fabulous. So we're going to fill in my eyebrows. This is just a random eyeliner pencil that my friend got me off of wish.com. And yeah, so it's okay. Um, I use this to help the eyeshadow, not the eyeshadow, but the brow powder uh, stay on a lot longer. My browsing palette has a cream, but I didn't have a clean eyeliner brush. So I just used this today. And yeah, then you will see me go in with a brush, like a very small, like, yeah concealer brush to blend it out and make sure that there's not just any gaps in my eyebrows and then I'll use that same brush to go into my browsing powder Ta -da! and um, put the powder on my eyebrows the trick to doing your eyebrows is to make sure that you go slow because if you go fast you are more you're it's, it's more shit what is the word I'm looking for? It's not working right now. You're probably going to make more mistakes if you go super fast than if you go slow and take your time. So I'm, I'm going to be using a Mary Kay lipstick. And this is in Natural Beauty, I believe. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. <laughs> These lipsticks are really nice because you can build it and it looks more natural. And yeah. So that completes this look. Um, you should probably set your face. I am running out of my setting spray. So if you are literally have a little bit left, you can always add a little bit of water to your and I mean a little bit to your bottle to kind of make it last a little bit longer if you need time before you go to the store to get more. Um, put that on your face and get rid of the powdery finish. If you do not do this, you will look like a crackhead. Well, not a crackhead. But you will look like you put your face in some house powder and that's probably not a good idea. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And give this video a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later.